Hello, welcome to St. Martha's Children's Liturgy of the Word for Sunday, September 27th. My name is Jackie Rosales. I'm the Director of Faith Formation at St. Martha, and I want to just sing along and dance with you. So stand up and let's praise our Lord. Alright, our first reading today is a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, People of Israel, you say, the Lord isn't fair, but you are the ones who are wrong. I am fair, and if any of you stop doing right and start sinning, you will die because of your sins. But if any of you turn from your sins and start doing right, you will be safe. You won't die because of your sins if you really think about the things you have done wrong and turn from them. Do this and you will go on living. The word of the Lord. Together, thanks be to God. Pay attention here, guys, because we're going to be talking about this in a minute. But it's your actions. You know, if you really think about the things you have done wrong, go and ask forgiveness, turn away from them, and start doing things right. Um, you will go on living. That means we'll get to go to heaven. We'll go on living for eternity with God in heaven um, because um, our actions are really important, the way we treat others and, and the way we do things. All right? Our responsorial psalm is Psalm 25. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Together, remember your mercies, O Lord. Show me your paths and teach me to follow. Guide me by your truth and instruct me. You keep me safe and I always trust you. Together, remember your mercies, O Lord. 
Please, Lord, remember you have always been patient and kind. Forget each wrong I did when I was young. Show how truly kind you are and remember me. Together, remember your mercies, O Lord. You are honest and merciful, and you teach sinners how to follow your path. You lead humble people to do what is right and to stay on your path. Together, remember your mercies, O Lord. Our second reading today is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ encourages you and his love comforts you. God's Spirit unites you, and you are concerned for others. Now make me completely happy. Live in harmony by showing love for each other. Be united in what you think, as if you were only one person. Don't be jealous or proud, but be humble and consider others more important than yourselves. Care about them as much as you care about yourselves, and think the same way that Christ Jesus did. The word of the Lord. Together, thanks be to God. Now let's sing our Alleluia as we prepare for our gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I will tell you a story about a man who had two sons. Then you can tell me what you think. The father went to the older son and said, Go work in the vineyard today. His son told him that he would not do it, but later changed his mind and went. The man then told his younger son to go work in the vineyard. The boy said he would, but he didn't go. Which one of these sons obeyed his father? The older one, the chief priests and leaders answered. Then Jesus told them, You can be sure that tax collectors and bad women will get into the kingdom of God before you ever will. When John the Baptist showed you how to do right, you would not believe him. But these evil people did believe. And then you saw what they did you still would not change your minds and believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Together, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, how are you doing today? We're going to start, instead of the Gospel, we're going to start with our second reading today, our reading from St. Paul to the Philippians. And St. Paul is, is teaching the people. And he's telling them there's one thing they can do to make him happy. He says, now make me completely happy. And, um, you know, do we have a secret? Can we do one thing that makes God completely happy? And if we can, it is this. It says, live in harmony by showing love for each other. Wow, we've been talking about loving others as we love ourselves for a few weeks now. Forgiving others as we forgive ourselves. And this time... We're going to bring it up just a notch, have a little bit more to it, and it's our actions, right? Showing love for each other. It's what we do that makes more impact in the world than what we say, okay? And our gospel follows right up on that. Jesus tells the story of the, the man who has two sons, and he goes to the oldest son, son, I need you to go out work in that vineyard for me today. And the son says, nope, not going to do it. I don't want to. Playing video games, I'm a little busy. I'll talk to you later. Well, then the son feels guilty and goes out and he actually works in the vineyard. The youngest son, the dad goes to and says, son, I need you to work in the vineyard today. Sure, dad, I'll get right to it. And then he goes off and gets distracted hanging out with his friends and he forgets or he just decides he doesn't want to and he never follows through. And Jesus asked the leaders of the time, which son 
was the best son? Which one obeyed their father? And they said the first one. He actually felt bad, so he went out and he did the work. And that's that's the lesson Jesus is teaching. He's actually teaching these leaders that, but he's teaching us that as well. We we need to we can, we have to say all the right words, and we have to we have to. Um, share with others that the love of Jesus but we have to act on that ourselves okay our actions need to support what we're saying and and they need to support um, us living a life as followers of Christ because we want to live as Jesus did Jesus is pure pure love God is pure love if we live any way besides loving, if we choose any actions that are unloving, that's being unchristian. So we need to make sure that everything we do um, goes with what we say, and everything we say goes with what we do, and we put those together and we come out that everything is at loving others and living in harmony um, with each other. Right now there's not a lot of harmony in the world, but you know what? It can start with us. Each and every one of us needs to be determined and deliberate and intentional about getting along with each other, not arguing about silly things with each other, and just showing love. All right? So go out and spread the love, and we'll see you in a week. Bye. All right. As part of that love for each other, we pray for them. So let's say a prayer for someone in need. Close your eyes real tight and think, who are you want to pray for? And then just say a loving prayer for them. Together, Lord, hear our prayer. All right, we got to remember to let our light shine. You guys stomp your feet like that? And let's clap together. That's it. Keep it going. Let's sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now. Sounds good. Huh. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, that sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back beat. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, God bless you all. Have a great week.